Hello everyone. It's our pleasure to present before you a short documentary on Tejas Networks, India's leading and innovative company in optical transmission space. Tejas has invested a lot in R&D, developed all the technology in India, and the company has filed more than 250 patents. Tejas has done well not only in India but has successfully been exporting transmission products to more than 60 countries worldwide. The first part of the video will feature Mr. Sanjay Nayak, CEO Tejas Networks. Sanjay has been the key pillar of the company since its inception. He will share with us some of the key initiatives of his company with respect to product and technology roadmap. In the second part we will talk to representatives from global companies who have deployed Tejas products in their respective networks and share their experiences with you all. Tejas products have been deployed by global operators and the company is poised to grow even further by introducing cutting edge technologies in the telecom space. And finally, we will hear from a couple of global operators and system integrators about their plans for buying transmission products and their key initiatives on the technological front for expanding broadband in their respective country. We hope you will enjoy watching the video. Tejas is India's one of the leading innovative R&D driven company which is focused on making telecom equipment. Our focus area so far has been optical transmission and what we have done is essentially invested a lot in R&D. Uh, developed all the technology in india uh, we have filed a lot of patents we have filed more than 250 patents uh, more than 100 being global and we really have created for the first time absolutely world class products based on the latest standards which are not just suitable for india but for the rest of the world the approach we have taken is really uh, converting a hardware problem to a software problem so we have a concept of what we call software defined hardware where the entire uh, new protocols and new uh, things can be done in on on uh, new technology that we have Uh, which gives us time to market from a uh, Tejas development perspective, and from a customer's perspective, he gets a pay as you grow because he can start with a TDM technology, and as his network evolves to packet, uh, he can evolve to a packet technology. So I think we are providing very good value to the customers in terms of technology, and really using technology and implementation skills uh, to give him a time to market as well as a cost advantage. We are today the largest uh, Indian telecom equipment provider in the optical transmission segment. We have been competing against global networks and doing very well. and we are of course exporting to more than 60 countries around the world in in all the emerging markets in addition to being oems to some of the larger global equipment companies who are selling our products in in all the markets including us japan and europe that's really where we are today and we are very excited to to see the next phase of our growth which is based on the growth of broadband and 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 data deployments in india and of course the the international opportunity in the form of exports for uh, countries which are building national broadband networks as well as operators who are transforming their networks from legacy networks to new packet based networks i am from algeria and we are uh, an isp uh, internet service provider company we work uh, with uh, tejas uh, solution and we 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 are very happy that we use this equipment and actually we substitute all our network multiplexer with tejas so- solution so how long you have been using tejas product and uh, uh, what has been the performance two years ago we buy this equipment and actually we are very happy to use it so any new products you are planning to buy from tejas yes uh, i am here uh, today looking about another solution with tejas in the future so what are you planning to buy to buy uh, actually we discuss uh, to buy four equipment next month it is a state owned company and right now i am working for wireless service directorate it looks after all the wireless services so you have been using uh, make in india products yeah we are using different kind of indian products uh, previously we used uh, tejas mox still it is being in operation they are still working in quite good way and uh, is still in operation we are satisfied and any plans of buying new products yeah currently th- we have just got uh, some idea about the products like uh, this uh, rural pts which is very much suitable for the rural areas actually the main problem in the wireless service is the power and we found that this pts uh, which is a uh, actually it is consuming less power as well as it is a, like a, it is it can operate in the full solar so i think it is a best solution for the rural areas actually a country like nepal which has a very difficult villages difficult in the remote locations so i think it would be very good solution 
So how many villages are you planning to connect through these? It can go more than 500. 500 villages. Yeah. And uh, uh, you want to take a complete solution from here? Or? Uh, it would come, actually, it has to be complete solution. Actually, we are having the other some other solution for the main cities, but uh, when we will uh, we'll have this solution, this will be a complete solution. And this would be mainly for voice or for internet? For both. Uganda Telecom is a, a service, a telecom service provider which deals in mobile, fixed, and landline, and it's the first telecom company in, in Uganda. You have been using Indian products uh, on the telecom side. And are you satisfied with this performance? Yes, please. We've been using Tejas for the last four years. It's still in the network. And uh, even for the last five years, we had some sites which uh, we used as a test. There are about five sites, Rulo for VNL. And this, yes, I would say it's recommendable. We've not had such problems yet. You, uh, on the transmission side, you have JT is there, Huawei is there. Tejas is there. So why have you added, why have you selected Tejas only? Tejas so far, I, their services, their, their equipment is reliable. Yeah, it can be tested. Because I have, I have in my network, we have Tejas, ZTE, Huawei, so. And uh, well, what all products are you planning to buy in your next cycle? Well, with this exhibition we've just had, I, I've seen a variety of them. And most likely we are we might go into the ISP access equipment, routers and whatever. And I've also seen some new especially fiber and uh the G points of course. So it's a variety of the, the exhibition has really enlightened me on Indian Intel. And are you satisfied with making India products? Yes I am. You have been using uh, Tejas product, so what all products you have been using and how has been their performance? Tezos uh, was introduced to us through other parties uh, when we were buying uh, microwave equipment with a uh, foreign origin. They proposed us uh, with a Tezos solution. In the beginning, it, we were not very sure about their performance, but after working for a couple of years, the product is world class. So happy? I'm extremely happy with uh, Tezos products uh, which we have used so far. We have not used wide variety of products. We have uh, mainly our product is focused to this multi-service access network MSAN. Okay. We have used, I mean, that has been a very, very uh, flexible and the right product which we needed at that point of time. National IT Authority Uganda is a statutory body responsible for ensuring that uh, IT developments in Uganda are coordinated and regulated. What products have interested you? Um, since we are currently running a, a national backbone, uh, we mostly um, run our services on uh, two technologies, uh, SDH and DWDM technology. I've seen Tejas networks offering such. It would be nice to continue interacting with Tejas and we see how far that can go. So this is mainly a backbone transmission network that you are planning to build for providing broadband to your country? Yeah, actually it's a national data transmission backbone infrastructure network uh, specifically built to uh, deliver broadband services to government of Uganda. But again, with excess capacity going out to the private sector. I'm the general manager of uh, NWARnet ESP, which is uh, uh, an internet service provider based in Algeria. How many subscribers do you have? Uh, we are working in b 2 B2B segment and we have uh, something like 1,000 company connected with us. So what all products are you evaluating uh, for this expo? In this expo, we was invited by Tejas and uh, we are evaluating some uh, transmission uh, equipment, access network uh, in LTE uh, broadband. And uh, how are you satisfied with uh, whatever pilots or whatever first information that you have gathered for Tejas products or you are evaluating other companies also? Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm in stage of uh, prospecting and uh, studying uh, the ratio uh, quality price to be able to evaluate 
the equipments and also see uh, the technical capabilities of the equipments. For that, we, uh, we have uh, in the plan to visit Bangalore uh, and to, to visit uh, the manufacturer of, of Tejas. Till today, I think uh, that Indian equipments are, uh, are very interesting. And we, uh, we, I, I can say that we can uh, plan to introduce some, uh, some solutions in our network with the European and with Chinese uh, manufacturers we already have in our, in our network. You haven't used Indian products before? Never, never. It, it will be, it's the first time we're discovering uh, Indian equipments. Which products you feel would be great for your company? Because we have uh, a great network and uh, we, we transport uh, data and uh, TDM information. Tejas equipment, I hear about uh, Tejas equipment, equipment and I will uh, try and test these equip equipments to put it in our uh, network. Which products from Tejas are you planning to buy? I see that uh, there is equipment uh, TG uh, 1600. Uh, I think this is an uh, op uh, optical equip equipment. We plan to put it in our uh, network. And how soon are you planning to buy? Uh, perhaps uh, next year. I will uh, visit Bangalore. There is a Tejas company in RD. The de and the research de department, I will test and try uh, the just uh, equipment. Uh, we're a metro infrastructure services provider in Nigeria. Would you tell us more about your company and what products are you evaluating for your company? The products we're evaluating are mostly uh, fiber products, uh, products on uh, long distance fiber solutions, things on the metro space. And, and that's why we're here. That's one of our newly signed off uh, partners, Tejas Networks, actually invited us for this program and it's been very uh, interesting and fulfilling for us. When you finalized Tejas, did you evaluate any other products from other countries? Oh yes, we did. We've spoken to evaluative vendor products from China. We've done a few from, uh, of course, China is the predominant uh, uh, space now where a lot of telcos in the competitive space uh, operates from. And then we looked at products from Tejas, and I must tell you, we're actually fascinated by the uh, offerings on the long distance, uh, including on the metro space as well, which is why uh, after our due presentations to our board, they graciously approved that we should actually work uh, stick to Tejas as our anchor partner on the projects that uh, we're presently doing. And uh, some of these projects uh, include some very long distance, over 20,000 kilometers of fiber for the government itself on the Universal Service Fund project. And Tejas uh, is our anchor partner on that project, which is part of why we came in here as well, to evaluate some other ad additional solutions, and then we can begin our work with them as well. When do you plan to finalize this? I think essentially for our partnership with Tejas, that's essentially uh, covered and finalized on. Uh, what we're doing now is to scope the projects themselves, and then of course in, in partnership with them, do the technical evaluation of those projects, of course do the project planning and begin implementation. So I think in the next two, three months, we will start actual deployments and then uh, firm up our discussions with Tejas. But, but in terms of... Um, uh, in terms of our comfort with the platforms they provide, we are totally comfortable with what they provide and we think they provide very reliable platforms that we can work with. My company is, the main uh, characteristic of my company is to provide internet access to ISPs. So we are the main uh, provider in our state in Brazil. We are working on more than 90 cities with optical fiber. We are specialized in optical fiber transmission. And uh, I am in India to see some products in order to, to build another DWDM uh, infrastructure. We have to illuminate 2,000 kilometers of uh, fiber using DWDM solution. And I am uh, here look for this equipment and also PTN solution. Which products have shown more promise for you for the 2,000 kilometers of transmission uh, that you are planning in Brazil? Well, I'm looking for the WDM because the WDM has big capacity to transmit all the data we are looking for. And uh, any particular company or any particular product which has shown more interest? Uh, well, I'm looking for Tejas equipment 
because they present us uh, the equipment and we are interested to see and to, to look uh, how good they are. Have you already done that evaluation with respect to Tejas products and how good or bad they are? We are interested to, to know more about this equipment. So we are going to the plant in the Bangalore this week and we will learn about this equipment more. And I am very interested in to know how these equipment are. Uh, when do you pl plan to buy this product? Well, our program is to begin in the implementation of the equipment in the, the first quarter of 2017. So we are launched uh, in RFP and uh, Tejas will be participated of this RFP. Internesa have in optical fiber in different countries of South America. One of them is Peru. In Peru, uh, we have 5,000 kilometers of optical fibers. Internexa uh, has uh, different equipment that work with this optical fiber. Uh, we work with different technologies. Uh, one of them is DWDM, SDH, MPLS, and IP. No? Are you looking at Tejas products for your products? Yes, I know some products of, of Tejas. Uh, one of them is uh, the TJs, well, in his, in his different products. No? And when do you plan to buy these products? I think uh, in Internet I have different projects. Yes, I suppose the next year uh, I think invite uh, invite other pro other product, but it depends of, of the how how I know in this moment no okay. this this new technology.